be tying a staple winter pattern, a small dark stone. Uh, for illustration purposes, we're tying this on a size 10, but in real reality, we'd be tying it more like in a 14 or a 16. We're going to start our black thread behind the eye. We're incorporating some new tricks into a classic L care pattern. I made a thread wrap down the whole base there. At the back end, I'm going to take a piece of 5X uh, mono, and I'm going to tie that in as our rib. Secure that all the way in place. Whenever you're ribbing, check that rib. Pull on it, make sure that it's in there good. If it's not, it's not going to help you finish off the fly. So, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in a uh, section of black saddle. It's going to go right at the rear, right next to the rib. So far, so good, just like a traditional uh, Elk Hair Caddis. My improvement on the body material is eighth inch sheep foam, uh, fly foam, great stuff to work with. All I've done is just taken my scissors or you could use a razor blade and cut off a thin strip of this material. We're going to lay that down the shank at least to start with. Tie that into place. This little bit of extra is going to help really provide a bunch of flotation. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap that piece of foam forward. Put a little bit of tension on there. See it builds up a cool black body. Snip off our excess. We're going to take that hackle. And again, whenever you're making these patterns at home, judge the hackling by uh, what kind of water you're going to fish it in. If you're fishing fast water, you're going to use lots of hackle. If you're fishing it in uh, slow water, you know, a little bit of hackle will do the job. Four to six wraps forward on the hackle. I'm going to go through there with that mono rib. Make sure you keep your tension on that mono. Don't let go once you start wrapping. If you do, you're probably going to end up losing it back to the tail point. Next we're going to take some all-purpose deer. I'm a big deer fan. Um, there's definitely good floatability in elk. Um, I find it a little bit harder to get the good compression on, on uh, elk, but you know, not impossible. And obviously it's the standard, so I just like working with deer. I'll take those tips, cut it off the hide there. Try to remove as much of that under fur as we can. A brush goes a long way in doing that. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those tips and stack them. Put the wraps on the table. On the smaller sizes, you know, you'll be using a little bit less wing material here. You want to take your thread back to right there where the hackle ends. So I want those tips to be even with the abdomen. Take it, pinch it, hold it. Make a couple wraps on there. Get your compression. A couple more. And it should be on there fairly tight. In the event that it's not, I'll go through the stubs. The whip finish now. My 
last but not least, we're going to take those stub ends. Use my scissors or a bodkin to kind of separate them from the points to get them into a big herd here. Snip off my excess. There you have a completed black foam winter stone. One of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.